I'm Paul McAndrew, I'm a religion education teacher in the Institute of Education in Dublin. I'm here to give my analysis of the religion paper uh, from today. Um, the paper was very fair as a religion papers go and the content uh, and what you're asked to do in regards to the content will be very similar to what you've been asked to do in religion papers in the past. So let me run through the paper. So they, they started off with unit one where you're uh, given the choice of doing question one or question two. Question one uh, highlighted uh, the ideas of Plato, particularly in regards to the nature of reality and then you've got a follow-up question where you're asked them to take that information about the relation to the nature of reality and to apply it then to sort of a more contemporary situation to people today. The next question, also in question one, was asked about humanism, pretty much the exact same format as in the Plato question, and this follow-up question asked you to apply that knowledge. Then we move on to question two, where you had divine revelation, quite straightforward, and then you had a question on the, this, the indifference to the search for meaning, again, quite straightforward. Uh, of those two, probably two was probably a more straightforward question than question uh, one would have been, but again, both were things that people should have been prepared for. Uh, moving on to unit two. So unit two, you do three, sorry, two from three. There's a section B, Christianity, which is straightforward. I don't teach it in mission education, but it was quite run of the mill for what we would be looking for at. Then you have section C, which is world religions, and then finally my question, section D, which is moral decision making. So in section C, world religions, again, let me just sort of make sure I have this correct. Uh, but the first question is on primal religions. So there's quite a bit in that section, and you're asking you two points to 20 marker. So there's a lot to write in sort of nine minutes. So that may have sort of thrown people. And after that, you had talked about trends in religion in Ireland. That would have been, again, something that would be quite uh, sort of straightforward for students. But the following question may have thrown people. You're asked about founding stories and festivals. It's not really on the syllabus of founding stories idea. Uh, and you're asking them to look at them. So the straightforward ideas like the Passover or different aspects of Judaism, all the different aspects of Judaism and some of the religions we do, or Islam, none of their festivals are really founding stories. So students could have done well, it depends on how the examiner looks at it, but the best place to have gone for founding story festivals would have been Christianity with Christmas or Easter or with Buddhism, talking about the sack. So that may have thrown a couple of students. Final question is on interfaith dialogue. Great uh, question, and that should have been straightforward for students. Moving on to section D, moral decision making. Again, you had three really sort of straightforward questions that people should have done well in. The last question, which again, people in all of this section, uh, you can do uh, two from three in regards to the inside each question. But the last <coughs> question was about an informed conscience and how that would help someone make decisions today for moral maturity. May have thrown people in regards to its wording and then may have been slightly tricky. And then finally moving on to unit three where you are doing one question from four uh, and within this one you again you have choice. So the very, very last question in uh, the unit, sorry, unit three Section E, Religion and Gender, which is the one that I teach in Israel Education, is on empowerment and basically uh, oppression by religion, particularly Christian tradition, uh, uh, as a result of someone's gender. And again, something that we've covered well, some of the students would have known very, very well. Slightly tricky because it was an 80 mark question, though you were asked to talk about both sections, oppression and empowerment, and therefore that should have basically triggered students to think, okay, this is two 40 mark questions, which we had uh, basically worked on a lot. 80 mark questions haven't appeared on the paper for quite some time. Uh, so this was sort of a new thing for students. We, we have looked at them, but again, it was a new thing for students. All in all, a really fair paper. I think students have done really well. Well, to be honest, I'm quite happy with it. Uh, and uh, again, if you'd worked and done the assessment, if you basically set a class, I think people have done very well. So, a fair paper, and uh, probably one of the fair papers that we've had in a while.